Seton High School is a, a comprehensive neighbourhood secondary school uh, which caters for the needs of a, a diverse uh, population as you would expect. Within that uh, we also have a, a history of successful specialist programs. They include significant and increasing student voice and agency and that's supported very much by our work with Professor Yong Zhao uh, and a group of our students is, is doing some ex excellent work in that space. So we look at these students as experts in the classroom so I believe that student voice is an authentic opportunity to tap into what the students are seeing in the classroom how they're interacting with the teachers and what they believe is important in terms of their learning. The student voice to me is giving the students a say and fighting for what the students actually want in their learning and their education in the school. SHIP program, again a long-standing program with uh, really clear partnerships with our neighbouring primary schools has a strong focus as you would expect on higher development of higher order thinking skills and meeting the needs of those students but there's been a conscious effort to make sure that that thinking and that approach is something that we use across the school not just within that program. In the STEAM project students spent um, an entire term learning math, science and design concepts with also a, a number of different new technologies being embedded into the, the classroom. The project was part of the Adelaide Contemporary Student Design Competition which was run by the Art Gallery of South Australia and it challenged students to uh, design their own art gallery on the old RAH site on North Terrace. In the STEAM project I enjoyed the uh, group work and the going to the art gallery and be able to do something hands-on. What I most enjoyed about the STEAM project was that we had to use a lot of creativity and we had to um, work in different groups that we normally wouldn't work with. We needed to make it eco-friendly and sustainable so going on excursions to Christie's Walk Eco Village we were able to look at passive solar design and the elements of passive solar design we incorporated into our own design. The students were eager to uh, take part in changing the design of public buildings and they, they really started to understand through the project that through their own ideas and through work they could do in the future, they could have a positive impact on the wider community. I love how we got a different learning opportunity and I like how Seton opened up um, different ways to connect subjects. It was such an open learning environment while I was learning which I felt really comfortable in. Giving students the opportunity to bring in some of the ideas from the gifted art program, things that really engage them in their learning and apply those in maths and science uh, was a real boost for the students. The difference between the STEAM project and the normal class is we are able to mix multiple classes together like how are we able to put art and science together. As it's growing it's encouraging more teachers to think beyond their subject boundary. In planning the STEAM project, teachers worked really closely together and that led to more consistency in task design and also the content we were delivering. I think this led to better outcomes for students and it also led to a connectedness between the teaching group because we knew we were working towards a common goal. The baseball program has been going for, for upwards of 20 years and, and within that there's a long-standing development of a, an approach which in, of itself is an entrepreneurial approach to running the program and that's allowed it through fundraising and working with community groups to develop a really world-class facility that they use for their training. As a school we're at a stage of our improvement journey where our focus at the moment is consolidating teaching and learning practices uh, which link our specialist programs and our general programs and that needs to be done within a, a cohesive and innovative whole school approach. We try to introduce students to business across the three year levels, introducing new concepts as they go. So the year 10 course is predominantly focused on short sharp units, um, the share market, planning and running your own small business. In the year 11 course, part of it is that they reflect in a journal and they talk about the experiences in practically selling. So you see that reflection and their engagement because it, they can't reflect without engaging. Having people from industry come in to speak to students about their experiences and applying that knowledge, it's such a great opportunity so students can see how it applies. Over recent years, the stage numbers have continually gone up to the point where we've had 50 students electing to do business at year 12. So to have 50 speaks to how much students engage and enjoy the topic. We'll be trialling a new subject in 2019, which is called Business and Design, which will really encompass a lot of those factors of not just selling a product, but producing one as well. The Seton High School UAV Specialist Program is South Australia's first integrated program combining Stage 1 Geography and Scientific Studies and Stage 2 Control Technology, all framed around UAV application in industry. 
We've rethought SACE and what we've realised is that it's more engaging for students and teachers. It provides the students with the real world integrated projects instead of work that's confined to just one subject area. A program where students have excelled in many other subjects and have shown interest in STEAM. I applied for the Seton UAV program because I, I was fairly interested in the idea of working with drones. The UAV program is a course where we study uh, drone use and drone technology. Right now we're studying the use of drones in the agriculture industry. The Seton High School UAV Specialist Program has many connections with industry, the University of Adelaide, government departments and local UAV businesses. I think it's amazing the technology, it's come so far and it's um, really interesting to see what sort of jobs you can get. By completing the UAV program, students are equipped with the skills to run their own business. They graduate from the program with an industry standard remote pilot's license and aeronautical radio operator's certificate. They also learn how to meet the needs of potential clients when it comes to the agricultural and surveying applications of UAVs. The mentorship of the industry connections allows students to comprehend the realities of starting their own UAV business and what it's like to use UAVs when working in research science. It definitely has con made me consider different jobs I could take, uh, going around and helping people, mapping, or even uh, like we're doing with the African Box Thorn project to, to help the environment. What I really love about this project is that students can use the engineering design cycle to solve real world problems. They engineer solutions and undertake missions to engage with these contexts and they use CAD software and 3D printers to bring their designs to life. So basically the African box thorn is a weed of national significance. What we're trying to do, we're trying to eradicate that through use of UAVs. We're going to get a UAV and plan a mission to fly it over the areas that we know has a lot of box thorns and then take a bunch of images and use post-processing to stitch together the images to make a map and then identify exactly where each box thorn is located. Then we can do a second mission where we fly over these areas where the box thorns were found to be located and drop some herbicide on it to eradicate them and we'll drop it using a hopper deploy mechanism which we are designing ourselves. The students can see scientists and business owners using the same technology and it gives them a sense of pride and accomplishment that they have the skills to be competitive in offering a service. When drones uh, survey land, they can take numerous photos and the RGB um, measures how much green is reflected, so it shows how green the plant is, and the NTVI measures how much near-infrared is reflected, therefore showing how healthy the plant is. I think that's really rewarding for the project to have an actual end goal, makes everything a little bit more worthwhile and it's a really awesome project to be involved with. We're not only ready to become a specialist entrepreneurial school, we're actually well advanced in a wide range of planning, practices, programs and initiatives required to become a centre of excellence for students in the development of increasingly vital skills, the knowledge, the attitudes, that an entrepreneurial education would develop in those students.